Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name. <laughs> glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Father God, we bless you today and we praise you. Hallelujah. Good evening. This is our Tuesday evening uh, NSS corporate prayer, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time, the Heart of David International Ministries. Thank you for joining us. I'm your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Also, we have a YouTube channel, and that is the Heart of David International Ministry. Hallelujah. We also have a, uh, uh, um, a Facebook page, and that is also the Heart of David International Ministry. You'll see my picture with me and my boys on there. So I encourage you to like and subscribe. And we have some very powerful words. Uh, um, and I believe it'll help you, strengthen you, and deliver you. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. All right, let me go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now and just say thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. <clears throat> and thank you for your mercy. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we praise your name and we honor you. Lord, we thank you for the power of prayer. We thank you for the anointing of the power of prayer, Father God. We thank you for healing in prayer. We thank you for signs and wonders in prayer. We thank you for the manifestation of our prayers, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we pray that you Bless everybody that's here today, Father God. Anoint them and keep them. Strengthen them and encourage them in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Father God, you know. Let us have faith in our prayer. And let us have power in our prayer. And let us have the faith to believe your word and the faith to believe our prayers. In the name of Jesus, thank you for miracles and signs and wonders. Thank you for deliverance. In the name of Jesus, we bind up and we eradicate all these mind-snatching demons. We bind up and we eradicate Alzheimer's and dementia. In the name of Jesus, we bind up and we eradicate every manner of disease and illness and sickness. In the name of Jesus, we stand on your word. There's power in your word. There's anointing in your word. There's deliverance in your word. There is healing in your word. There is restoration in your word. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to your name. Joe, Joe. Now, <clears throat> come in. I'm going to take you to uh, Luke chapter 21, and we're going to go to verse 36 at that top button right there. That top button. Nope, nope, nope. Right on the top of the phone. No, no. Okay, move. Move, move, move. That's okay. That's okay. We got it. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Because we're talking about the power of prayer. We got to believe in the power of prayer. We got to believe in the word of God and the power of God in his prayer. We got to believe in the preaching of the gospel. Hallelujah. We got to believe in the word of God, not just saying it and not just quoting it. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Mm. Hallelujah. We got to believe in the gospel. We have to believe in the gospel. Hallelujah. We got to believe in the power of prayer. And this is what the power of prayer will do for you. And this is what we're going to stand on today. <clears throat> Luke chapter 21, verse 36. He says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man. He said, watch ye therefore and pray. That means we must be watchful and we must be prayerful. You know, uh, way back in the day when people had kingdoms, and even now, when you're in a war-torn country, people watch. 
They have what they call watchtowers. We need to watch in the spirit. We need to have a spiritual watchtower. Hallelujah. Because he says, watch thee therefore and pray always. So we in our spiritual watchtower, we are watching and we are praying. Glory be to God. <clears throat> Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. When he tells you to watch, to pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass. So we need to be praying so we can be worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass. All these things that should come to pass, part of this is this coronavirus. We got to watch and pray. Everything that's coming up on the world, we will not be able to pray away because it's biblical prophecy. Hallelujah. But we can watch ye therefore and pray always that we may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. <clears throat> so we're going to watch therefore and we're going to pray always. Mm. And we want to be accounted worthy to escape all the things that should come to pass. And we want to stand before the Son of Man. If we watch ye therefore and pray always, we'll, we won't, we'll be able to stand before the Son of Man. And we'll be able to, to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Uh, all the things that shall come to pass, that's just the biblical prophecy of the biblical words that God said is going to be on the, up on the earth. All of us won't be gone with some of this stuff happening. Hallelujah. So let's go ahead and we're going to pray. Mm. We want to be watchful and we want to pray. Hallelujah. We want to be accounted worthy. Mm. Mm. Glory to God. We want to be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass and to be able to stand before the son of man. We got to believe in prayer. We got to believe in the word of God. If you don't believe in the word of God, your prayers won't mean anything. If you don't have faith in the word, it don't mean anything. If you don't believe in the power of the word, it don't mean anything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. All right, now let's go ahead and pray. That's too loud. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus. We come to you right now, Father God, and ask you to help us, Father God. Lord, we ask that you help us in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus that we will always pray and not faint, Father God. We want to pray. We want to be watchful, Father God. And we want to be prayerful in the name of Jesus. We want to be watchful and we want to be prayerful. So we are accounted worthy mm, to stand against all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. In Jesus' mighty name. <clears throat> now we bind the spirit of fear right now. We bind every spirit of fear. We bind every spirit of drawing back. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we bless you, we honor you, and we magnify you. In the blessed name of Jesus. Father God, in Jesus' mighty name, we want to have that childlike faith, Lord. We want to have faith, Lord. Faith like the child has in their parents. Hallelujah. That the parent is going to provide for them, Father God. It's going to take care of them. It's going to feed them and going to clothe them. Lord, we want that kind of faith with you. We know you're going to take care of us, Father God. And we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Father God, we pray, Lord, that we will never lose hold 
of the gospel, Father God. Let us take a hold of the gospel in the name of Jesus. We praise you and we honor you and we magnify you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the mighty, glorious name of Jesus, we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty, glorious name of Jesus, we lift you up, Father God, and we magnify you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to be watchful, Father God. We want to be watchful and we want to be prayerful, Father God. We want to be watchful and prayerful, Father God, mm. that we can stand against all those things that should come to pass, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And we want enough prayer and we want to be watchful that we can stand before the Son of Man in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your mighty name. We thank you and we praise you today. We honor you and we magnify you and we lift you up, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give us the faith, Lord, that we need, that we don't look at our circumstances, but we believe in the word of God, that we believe you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you and we magnify you in the blessed name of Jesus. In the blessed mighty name of Jesus, we glorify you and we honor you and we lift you up. Pick it up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Father God, we magnify you and we honor you in the blessed name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to come together to do this corporate prayer, Father God. Father God, that we can come together and lift our voices up, Lord, to praise you and to worship you and to magnify you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father God. Lord, let our prayers go forth, Lord, that the prayers go forth with heal and deliver, folks, Father God. That our prayers go forth that we can raise the dead in the name of Jesus, that their limbs grow back, Father God. In the name of Jesus, that blind eyes be opened, Lord. The lame to walk and the dumb to talk, Father God. Heal every manner of sickness and disease in the body, Father God. In the name of Jesus, let us keep our right mind. Lord, those who are dealing with Alzheimer's and dementia, in the name of Jesus, bring their mind back, Father God. Bring them back to the right mind. In the name of Jesus, we bind these mind-snatching demons. In the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of Alzheimer's and dementia. In Jesus' mighty name, we glorify you, we honor you, we bless, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, let our prayers go forth for healing, Father God. Let us go forth for deliverance and strength, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, because we want to watch ye therefore, and we want to pray always, Father God, that we will be worthy, hallelujah, that we will be worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass, Father. We want our prayer life increased, Lord. We want our faith in your word increased, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. We want more anointing, Father. We want more faith in your word, that there be deliverance and that there be healing in the name of Jesus. Heal the hands and the feet. Heal the mind, Lord. Heal Heal the soul and the spirit in the name of Jesus. Give us childlike faith that we need, that we can activate this word in the name of Jesus, that we can activate the word, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. We want to activate your word in our life, Father God. We want the word manifested in our life that when we pray for folks, that there be miracles and signs and wonders, Lord. Hallelujah. That when we pray for folks, that the unbelieving start believing, Father God, because they have seen 
your mighty hand so that they have seen your power, Father God, your power in deliverance and healing and miracles and signs and wonders and strength and endurance that they've seen, hallelujah, you, Father God, in action, the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we bless you and we praise you today. We love you, we honor you, we magnify you, and we lift you up in Jesus' mighty name. We glorify you today, Lord. We glorify you and we honor you in the blessed name of Jesus. Lord, we want to hunger and thirst for righteousness, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we don't want nothing hindering your anointing. We don't want nothing hindering your presence, Father God. So we come to you right now and ask you to forgive us for everything that we've done and everything that we didn't do that we should have done, Father God. We don't want anything hindering us the anointing on our life, Father God. We don't want anything and hindering the anointing for miracles on our life, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help us, Father God. Help us be strong and stay strong. Help us in our mind and in our spirit and in our heart, Father God. Lord, we thank you for divine health in the spirit and in the natural. Thank you we don't have HIV and AIDS. Thank you we don't have cancer and lupus, Father God. Thank you that our liver and kidney is working right. Our heart is working right. Our mind is working right. Our eye gates and ear gates is working right. Thank you that we can still speak and praise you and worship you with our lips and with our tongue, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for more power and we pray for more strength in the name of Jesus, power in your word, strength in your word, deliverance in your word, in the name of Jesus. Lord, hallelujah. We are excited, Father God. We are excited, Lord, to be able to come to you and get into your presence, Father God, and worship you and seek your face, Father God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we bless you today, Father. We bless you and we honor you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we lift you up and we praise your mighty name. We honor your name. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, thank you for strength and endurance. Father God, you said it is not for the swift or the strong, but it's to those who endure, Father God. We want to endure until the end, Father. Hallelujah. We don't ever want to let go of the blood-stained banner of the gospel plow, Father God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> We bind every spirit of deception. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we bind every spirit of misunderstanding. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we don't ever want to be deceived out of your word, lied out of your word, embarrassed out of your word. Father God, let us hold on, Father, to your word, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Put the word down on the inside of us. Marinate us in your word. Let it be down in our bone marrow, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for strength and we pray for power right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let this anointing go forth for healing right now. Let this anointing go forth for deliverance right now. And whatever healing it needs, let it go forth. Hey! In the name of Jesus, Father. Now heal family, Father. Bring the marriages back together between the husband and the wife, Father God. Strengthen our home. Strengthen the husband and wife's marriage. Strengthen the family, Father God. Strengthen the family unit. The man and the woman, Father. Their children. Strengthen the family unit. Let us get back to having our home again. Let us get back to being a family again, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you order our steps in your word, in your will, and in your way. Order our steps, Father God, for deliverance and healing. Hallelujah. Order our steps for strength, 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Order our steps, Lord, that we will not be deceived, Father God. Hallelujah, that we won't be deceived out of your word, that we won't be tricked out of your word, that we won't be ashamed out of your word. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We thank you today and we honor you in the blessed name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Now, Lord, continue to keep blessing this corporate prayer, this 6 p.m. corporate prayer, continue to bless it, continue to anoint it, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Continue to bless and deliver, folks, Father. Lord, we pray for our midweek service on tomorrow, Lord. Let there be a great anointing, more anointing. Continue to pour your anointing out on the ministry, Father, out on the saints of God, out on the leadership, out on our homes, Father, out on our families, Lord, out on our in-laws and our extended families, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you. We glorify you and we bless you today. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you today. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, hallelujah. I'm going to read verse 36, Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Hallelujah. And verse 37 and verse 38. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Hallelujah. Verse 37. And in that day and in the day time, he was teaching in the temple and and at night. And he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. It says, for to hear him. They came out early in the morning for to hear him. Glory to your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah, for, hallelujah. It says in verse 37, and in the daytime, he was teaching in the temple. And at night, he went out. He was teaching in the temple, and that night he went out to the Mount of Olives, and he kept preaching and teaching. And in the morning, it says, verse 38 says, and all the people came early in the morning to hear him in the temple. For, mm, let me slow down. Verse 38, Luke chapter 21, verse 38. And all the people came early in the morning to hear to him in the temple for to hear him. They came early, they rose early to hear the word. There's something about getting up early in the morning to hear the word. You gotta make a sacrifice. Jesus sacrificed his life for you. You can't get up an hour early, or two hours early to go hear the word of God. Why? Yeah, that's why we must watch and always pray. Hallelujah. So we will be accounted worthy. Mm. Hallelujah. So we'll be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. We want to be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass. One of the things that's came to pass is the coronavirus. It's not an epidemic, it's a pandemic, it's worldwide. You want to be able to escape that. You want to be able to stand before the Son of Man. You only can do that if you watch and you pray. I said, watch and pray ye therefore. Hallelujah. You want to be accounted worthy to escape all the things that should come to pass. I told you earlier, all the things that should come to pass are the prophecies of the plagues and all this other stuff that's happened. When there's wars and there's rumors of wars, we gotta be watchful and we gotta be prayerful so we can escape those times, hallelujah, and be able to stand before the Son of Man. 
Glory to your name. Glory, glory, glory. Again, thank you. This is the Heart of David International Ministries. This is our corporate prayer, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. If you want to contact me, you contact me at HODIM1117 at gmail.com. Or you can reach me at the website at HODIM.org. If you want prayer, we will give you prayer. Hallelujah. We believe in the power of prayer. We believe in the power of the prayer in the healing. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Mm. Listen, saints, if you want to leave a, a comment, go ahead and leave a comment. If you got any questions, email me. Like I said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, and we will see you tomorrow, hallelujah, at 6 p.m., hallelujah, Pacific time for our midweek service. Believe in the Lord your God. Thank you for praying for the ministry. Hallelujah. If you would like to leave a love offering, you can go to the website. Hallelujah. Remember, God loves you. And we got to watch ye therefore and pray always. In order for this word to work, we want to see the manifestation of the word. Hallelujah. We want to see this word activated in our own lives, not in somebody else's and we do want it in other people's lives, but we want to see the word manifested in our own lives. Hallelujah. We want to activate it in our own lives. Hallelujah. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time for our midweek service. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.